with a chance discovery that nearly led to his death, meet the man behind the statue, Dr. James Young Simpson, a pioneer in the field of medicine and a Scottish hero who in 1847 discovered that chloroform could be used as an anaesthetic on humans. Due to his willingness to explore and investigate, chloroform was used in childbirth to ease pain for a part of the 19th century. The story behind his experiment, the aim of which to find a chemical with anaesthetic properties, is both as interesting as it is bewildering. So, Dr. Glover's report suggests that chloroform can be used to sedate animals, but he fears that the effect will be too strong on humans. Do you know what I say to that? I say that we should not be afraid of the unknown. We shall inhale this chloroform. We shall try it, and any results that we find, hopefully, will change humanity for the better. Dr. Simpson and his assistants, Dr. George Skeen Keith and James Matthews Duncan, used to sit in Dr. Simpson's dining room every evening to try out chemicals on themselves <laughs> and discover if they carried any anaesthetic properties. Dr. Keith. On the night of the 4th of November 1847, they prepared to test chloroform. the next morning and immediately knew what they had discovered. The word spread and the chemical was used during childbirth for many years. Dr. Simpson was made professor of medicine and midwifery at Edinburgh University when he was 28 and was therefore very interested in advancing the field of childbirth. There are many plaques you can see around Edinburgh today that thank Simpson for his discoveries. In 1850, he was even elected president of the Edinburgh Royal College of Physicians. After a life pursuing the advancement of medicine, Dr. Simpson died at the age of 58 on the 6th of May 1870. However, his legacy will never be forgotten and his impact can still be seen today. <laughs> 